So then we, we want to negotiate how much um, you're making. And we'll put in and we'll just say, look, if, you're, if anybody's going to make more than 100000 bucks, we want to know about it. Because you know, this is startup. And, and generally, it's interesting. As an, a, an entrepreneur, it, you, find, you will find that if you own enough of your company, it's better to pay yourself less than it is to pay yourself more, interestingly. Because if the uh, typical price earnings ratio is higher than a certain amount, I, I don't need to go into it too much, but it turns out sometimes it's better not to pay yourself at all because if you have enough stock in the company. Do you have tax tricks? Tim, is that what Elon Musk did? Um, boy, Elon did a lot of very interesting things. He, he actually borrowed from uh, Tesla to give to SpaceX at one point and borrowed from SpaceX to give to Tesla at one point. Both were really dicey. You know, you don't really want to do that ever. But he, he was just, you know, he was saying, God, just a little more money here and we can make this thing happen and <laughs> just a little more money over here and we can make this thing happen. And he, and he did it by borrowing against his own shares in PayPal, I believe. So he borrowed against his shares in PayPal. He, he leveraged to the hilt. Not a good idea. Generally, I'm going to give you a piece of advice that I think you will, will serve you well throughout your life. Do not borrow money. Do not borrow money unless there is, no, unless there is a very limited thing that you're borrowing it against and you can afford to lose that thing. Okay, now, okay, a mortgage on a house, that may be okay. But in general, oh, and never, ever personally guarantee anything. That's how, I'm just talking about it. How do I know of the people, not the companies, companies can go bankrupt all the time, of the people who have gone personally bankrupt it's been personal guarantees, and it's been borrowing money personally. So beware of those two things. And I, I, if you le learn nothing else here at Draper University, and God knows you haven't learned anything, <laughs> but <laughs> if you learn nothing else, that's it. No personal guarantees, and, and when you borrow, if you borrow, borrow against something that you do not, you are not afraid to lose. Okay. Yeah. Can you explain the personal guarantee yeah. system in the United States? Because yeah. Here's what happens. Um, when, if I loan to you and I'm a bank, I, I might loan to your business. And, and then I say, well, and if the business can't cover this, I want you to personally guarantee it. So that means if, if the business can't cover this loan, and your business goes out of business, that's bad enough. But then they go after you. They take your house, they take your car, they take you, you're out on the street. And it's tough. And, and that's the deal. So, you know, it's a, it's a tough job to be a banker. Yeah. What if you earn good salary from your own company, but don't spend it, save it, and invest it in the later and earn more stocks? You can do that. You can buy more. And as investor, I look at that and I go, good news. He wants to put more money in, too. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, did you have a question? Yeah, just I want to say something. In the Netherlands, that's the only way to start a business, to be personal responsible, unless you have more than 500,000 euros in the I first know. year. And I have a very good friend. Oh, no, he's Danish, but I have a very good friend who was doing great, and then he personally guaranteed a loan to buy the, the newspaper. And, you know, you know, all newspapers have gone like this. And he lost everything. And, he, and not only that, but he, is, he was $12 million in debt, and there's no bankruptcy protection in, in Denmark. And I don't think in the Netherlands either. So 
<laughs> and when you start your business, do it here. <laughs> yeah, you cannot, no, but that's why you cannot fail in the Netherlands. Right. Because and, and, they take everything And having from no, you. no downside. See, here, at least, you have bankruptcy protection. And even that guy who personally guaranteed something, he can only go to zero. And if you go through Chapter 7 and only go to zero, um, you actually don't have to pay taxes for five years. <laughs> kind of weird. It's, it's like, yeah, you can go bankrupt and then don't have to pay taxes for five years. But, but um, in the Nether not in the Netherlands, but in Denmark, he was $12 million in debt. Now, he's smart enough. He's actually pulled himself all the way out. Can you imagine that? It, it took him about six or seven years, and he pulled himself all the way out of debt. But, but if he were... It, what's weird is in Europe, if, if he were not able to pay that, his kids would have had yeah. to. Or so the, it's... People it's, you were married to. Yeah. In my case, my parents have to pay it back. Yeah. So I think our bank... The best thing we got in the United States of any of our laws is the bankruptcy protection law. <laughs> and that's why you can say fail and fail again. You know, I, we've got other cool stuff. Freedom of religion, freedom of speech. Those are cool. But, but bankruptcy protection beats them all, beats them all.